things you can do to cool down your car is put one of those shades up and to show you just how well those work. Meteorologist John Wendell did a little experiment today to show you how. We did a little experiment today and we put some crayons out on a board. We glued them and we went from red, yellows, greens, all the way to the purples, whites, and then eventually the black. And we put this up on the roof and with temperatures climbing on the roof more than 120 degrees, we started to see them melting. As a matter of fact, you could take a look at a time lapse and we have that time lapse on NBC Charlotte Facebook page and you could actually see that melting. What's kind of interesting is, is the purples and the blues melted first and moved Move down the board a lot faster. What's kind of interesting too is the black uh, did not uh, melt as fast and that's because it's right on the edge. Same thing holds true with the reds here but actually it's kind of interesting makes a pretty nice picture. The other thing we want to show you though is the temperature difference between a car that has a sunscreen and a car that doesn't. This one has a really nice sunscreen and we'll take a look at the temperature here and it's about hang on about 127 degrees, which is still pretty hot. But when you compare that to a car that does not have the sunscreen, 152. So you're talking at least a 25 degree temperature spread. So I think it's worth it to get that sunscreen to keep you just a little bit more comfortable. I'm meteorologist John Wendell, back to you.